I'm Joy and I'm going to show you how to assemble our Joey Caddy. Um, it comes in two colors, teak and white, and you would receive it in one box. Step one, you're going to take top panel A and find four cam bolts, which you will find in this bag of hardware. Your cam bolts you're going to screw into the smaller holes on top panel A. You have Two, four holes on each side and you're going to screw in cam bolts in the two smaller holes. On each side. And after you have your cam bolts drilled in, you're going to take your lock strike and two A screws, which you will find they're the smallest screws that you have in your hardware pack. And you're going to screw those in the two holes and you're done. Step two, you're going to take four cam bolts again and drill them into bottom panel B into the smaller holes and your larger holes will be used at a later time. Step three, you're going to Take panel D and take four wooden dowels. There's four holes on top and you're going to insert your wooden dowels in the holes that are not above the cam holes. So opposite of the cam holes. And you may want to use a hammer to tap them in. And on each end you will do this. And then once you have your wooden dowels inserted, you have four cam holes and you're going to insert your cams and you want to make sure that the arrow is pointing towards the holes. So when you connect them, they'll be easy to turn. So make sure the arrow is pointing upward toward the hole. And the next step, you're going to take your drawer runners and you want to, we're going to Put the top two and make sure the wheel is facing down and you have F screws and you're going to screw them with the first hole on your drawer runner. second drawer runner in. And again, you want the first hole on your drawer runner. Make sure your wheel is pointed down. And repeat on panel C and you're done with the two sides. Step five, we're going to be taking our panel D and panel C and attaching it to bottom panel B. You may use, want to use a dab of glue in the dowel holders dowel holes when you're attaching. And you just want to line up and make sure that your um, slots match. And you put your cam bolts on your cams and take a screwdriver and twist to the right to lock your cam and cam bolts into place. And repeat with panel D. Step six, we're going to insert back panel E into the grooves. For the teak, you're going to want to take the cream color and make sure that that is towards the center. And for those assembling the white, the groove, the tall part of the groove is towards the inside. And on the back, it will line up perfectly. And you just slide it in the groove all the way down until it fits flush on the bottom. Step seven, we're going to take top panel A and attach it to the top. Again, you want to make sure that your groove matches up with the groove and back and just insert it so that your cams and cam bolts match up on both sides and your dowel hole, holes go, go in your dowels. And push gently until it clicks. Take your screwdriver and screw your 
cams to the right till it won't turn any farther. And then with the help of another person, flip your cabinet over for the next step. Step eight, we're going to take our casters and our caster washers and insert our casters. Turn and use the wrench provided in the hardware bag and fasten down. Step nine, we're going to attach our bottom drawer runners and we're going to make sure that once again that the wheel is on the bottom. We're going to find the first hole and screw it in with our F screws. You should have four screws left of the F screws and we'll use those on our drawer runners. And screw in and repeat on the other side. Step 10, you're going to take drawer panel F and screw in your connecting bolts, two connecting bolts as seen here. And take your lock and screw it in the three holes using three E screws. On the front side of panel F, you're going to take your keyhole, insert it in the hole, and you can use a little glue to make sure that it sticks. Step 11, you're going to take side panels G and I and insert your cams and make sure your arrows face up towards the hole and you're going to put your wood dowels in the hole opposite of the cam. You don't want it above it. Put it next to it. And then you're going to attach to front panel F by making sure that your cam and cam bolt line up and your wooden dowel. And slide it on. And make sure that your grooves in your panels match up. And tighten your cams. And you're all set. Step 12, you're going to take your bottom drawer panel J and insert it in the grooves. And you can just gently pull apart G and I to slide it into the groove. And slide it all the way down. And then you're going to take panel H and fit it on top of so it slides in the groove. And then take four of our long screws and you're going to insert them in the side panels and use a screwdriver to screw the, drill them in. Next we're going to take our two stabilizer wedges and we're going to put them in the bottom of the drawer and on each side, front and back of the drawer and use our little screws that are included in our drawer bag and drill in and those are your drawer stabilizer. The last step to completing your drawer is you have two button handles that you're going to attach to your drawer front with the handle screws and find the two holes on the front and just screw them on you can take a screwdriver to hold the back screw in place so that you can tighten it to where you want it. And your drawer is complete. You can follow the same steps for the other two drawers to complete your caddy.